Hello my fellow friends, Digitaga here, and welcome back to Evening 2. Um I'm gonna have a little nosy at other places first before I decide to go into that. Yo! Yo mate, what do you want? We've been creating battles around all day is exhausting. But it pays good. Look at Donkey Kong. To be a sailor's wife, you have to learn patience. And then and then avoid worrying too much. Especially with all those tales people tell about the cursed isle. Yar! Yar! Oh, okay, it's the same dude. Can I? Yes? No? Okay. Ooh. Is it wine? Hello, dude! Nothing is all peaches and cream, but at the sea, but things are even worse on land. Well, at least the captain isn't around to tab up, keep tab on us. Oh, hello, jelly cat, Joe, yes? Sirs so, are really superstitious. Just listen to them talk about the cursed isle. They think the ghost of the dreaded pirate Robert lives there. Nobody knows if he even exists, so, his ghost. If only you knew, dude, if only you knew that the dude actually did exist. Here you go, that way. Why didn't you let me? Oh my god, can I not explore anything here? Phew! Finally, a bit of rest. The captain walks into the bone, but being a sailor is appalling. You yeah, can see, explore new known adventure with the, with the capital A, my friend. I won't it? Oh yeah. I was about to say, I thought it was capital C. Why did I think it was a C? I was thinking it was capital, probably. If only they want all these planks to scrub, sails to third and rigging to repair. Yo know, her being alive is not a thing for you. I came to board the ship, but the captain refuses to leave. Oh, trying to go show. May the wrath of the great destroyer strike him down. Ah, uh, well, once we've arrived, I mean, I'd rather nothing happen on the way there. Wait, the great destroyer? We're not going into a trick about tales. Check my dungeon. Check my tales. Check my dungeon. Whatever thing is called, are we? If you want to say you have to ask Captain, he's the one who decides when we leave and where we're headed. Okay. Dude. Dude. Uh, hi. Here's Captain Birdseye. Then we're not leaving the harbor for now. I've got a bad feeling I'm almost always right. It must be the ghost of that inf infamous pirate Roberts. That town after the curse is cursed, I tell you. If you want to set sail, go, to go get a force. Go get a force smidgen there from someone in the Council of Traders. Do it then, I went budge. Eh, uh, you should be at school in Geneva for a but it'll cost you a pretty penny. Traders aren't known to give stuff away. Did he just kick me? Did he quite literally just kick me? Charming. The fact I've got to go clearly got to beat up the Prophet to get the Stone of Time. What's down this way? Nothing, okay. That's gonna be horrible. No, the music's a set. <laughs> Hello, blood dude. Traders and disciples, traders and disciples. All day long I see you see as traders and disciples. It's crazy, I thought I'm really become a trader or a disciple. You are now entering the great trade capital, Geneva. Be sure to not make any trouble, and we should ensure your safety. I'm the one that caused enough trouble when I was here last time, but Jesus Christ, this place is... ...moggy. It's smoggy, that's it. But you never right? It's obvious from your tan, you've spent too much time outdoors. In Geneva, my delicate skin is protected from the sun's harm rays by the venture of the of vapors of the smog. That is not something to... Okay. That is not something to be proud of, I'd like to point out. I can't seem to find the, my key to the library, but I'm certain I left it in here. I simply must find it to continue my study of the scientific explanation of the power of the power of traders and an econo-religious system with, uh, within a post-disaster society. And where has, where has Mimi gone? Still hang around with her friends, I suppose. Well, as long as she stays out of trouble and lets me work. 
Now where's that blasted key? Mimi's got it! It's the only thing I can think of, Mimi's got it and Mimi will be in the library, so... I want to talk to you, but hey... Hmm. Oh dear, I apologize! Oh, this door is locked. God, this place looks like a hellhole now. I cannot be bothered to talk to people now. Jolly good, how are you, what what? You there! It's your lucky day! You just won this gem from a home! Gem of a home, it's so simple, a child could do it. A child with one first. So what do you say? No. Listen, I had to cut your tips, I'm gonna go out my way and offer you a reduced price. Five thousand, fine offer, what do you say? You double a hot bug, okay. Okay! Aha! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I'm a delicate rid of, I mean, sorry, this charming abode. Enjoy your new home. Key to your home. McDonald's is next to us. That actually is the McDonald's symbol for upside down. I'm surprised they're actually getting away with that. Wow. 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 This place is... I like how everything's natural. Did you know all the food here is guaranteed smoke free? That means it's healthy. And what's more important than life is than being healthy. Um, if you knew what the food was, then yeah, that's the screen picture, but why is it a fruit? Or whatever that's supposed to be. Welcome to McDonald's. We've been servicing healthy gourmet food for over a hundred years. So, we went back 50 years. Oh, there you go. Oh, I don't know why I'm so tired today. Hang on. Okay, we've gone 50 years over the time. I think. My great grandfather founded this restaurant, which fast became the best place to dine in all of Geneva. He's a real legend in our family. And that picture right here is from the first game. It's, oh my god. I'm loving that they're putting references from the old game in this. That is, I like that. That is nice. That really is nice. I am at the point where I can't. It's a tavern. Let's get pissed. My daughter likes to play with her friends out in the courtyard at the end. I can't imagine what to do up there all day. Ah, uh, but perhaps you could like to rest for a while. No, thank you. The food here is okay, but it's it's small beans compared to McDonald's, the best restaurant on the whole continent. If only you knew what I know. Why is their mouth doing that when they talk? Why is it huge and then go normal? I'm going to find non smog and rich fruits and veggies. Sure, they look pretty, but they've got bright colours. But they're completely tasteless. How am I supposed to use that stuff to cook some proper plates of food? True. True. Oh, okay. No. No. Uh, no. Hang on. That's one of the octopuses from the original game. I I don't know why I'm gonna keep you on it. I really don't. <laughs> I just seem to be really tired. Are you dead, dude? I just can't see before the noise from those girls next door. Why well, does their mother tell them to ease up a bit? I expect them to say, "Why don't the girls shut up?" Hi. Step aside, old man. Can't you see I'm walking here? You spray a little bitch. Being a trader's wife isn't exactly a cakewalk. True enough, I want nothing for both my husband is way at very often to compensate by bringing our girls presents. I think they'd been they'd be better off if you weren't if you were around more. I can't discipline them. I think they're just too cute to punish them. How about I punish them? I have a fucking sword to do it. And I have a big ass demon who can kick air butt. Dude You alright? You alright, dude? Zzz. I make millions off this continent. Zzz. Assuming they don't trip, read the fine print. Zzz. Oh, he's a CPWP. Wah! Wah! Why is the book? Wah! Why is the book? Why is the bookshelf doing that? 
all these books everywhere. I do have the prophet will enact a law banning them. Can I kick this prophet's ass? Because he sounds like a right dick. In fact, he is a right dick currently. Positive dangerousness was at the back. This game is not actually boring me, it's just I'm generally tired, I don't know why. What's up, dude? Ha ha ha! Oh, Harry is a cook with a smoke burning safe. I can't do without it anymore. What? Yeah, the smoke fumes are toxic. So I've been spears there. Everyone has to die of something. Plus, considering how much it costs me, I have to make food good use of it now. Oh, okay, okay. London and China and um, New York. I don't know. I'm thinking of what you want. You really think the Great Destroyer could cause the Great Disaster? And what about the business of the five keys you need to, get to collect before destroying the world? Oh no! The Great Destroyer. Oh god. Oh, hang on, I know that. When I was little, I always used to go hide in the sewers with my friends. He was full of rats and other disgusting stuff, but man, did we have a good time. Ever since the great disaster, I don't enjoy life anymore. It, Reno. That's the only one I can think of, it's Reno. Mammy worries a lot. All the adults are all adults like that. You'd be surprised, kid. You'd be re you really would be surprised. Our family's been poor for generations, but at least before we could see the sun. Now everything's just, everything uses smoke and smoke blocks out the sun and everyone's getting sick. The traders are the only ones getting richer. What do we what do we do to get out of it, huh? I worry about my daughter's future. I would. Isn't it kinda of sound like Final Fantasy VII right now? With the smog and like the Midgar and all that lot? Okay, why are all these di disciples? Woo! 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 Yes! I just wasted a lot of money actually. Oops. Dude! You alright? Hello there! We have lots of high quality equipment for sale. Forged with enough power of smog. Is this not a great, an ultimate schmooze or something like that? Take your pick! Bye! That'll be, I bet you anyway, that'll be because I've already bought, I've already got the Orcorn belt. That'll help. Yes. Da, 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 da. No more smelly feet. Now they just smell like smoke. Thank you. Coming back soon. Can I go past you? Yes, I can. I got a goop. I'd like to point something else off. I have not. Are you in like. Go away. Go away. Thank you. I haven't got a single card yet, and I haven't even got a star in a long gasp. There's no Vikings did exist. Not Vikings, Vikings. I just realised if I said that wrong, that would have gone. That's the orphanage. Back in the imperial days, this place was a fucking itch. His parents died in the war. Nowadays, it's home for people bankrupt by the traders who have nothing left. Or would have preferred taking care of the children. Adults only get what they deserve. So they never thought they're doing that right. Makes you wonder why they do it. Did anybody tell them what might happen? Okay, so much for the orphanage. So much for the orphanage. <laughs> kids. Yep. Saku. Why do I get to think this is a pun right here? The blonde girl is another reference from a game. Um, she isn't another one that's referenced from Earth sla Mother slash Earthbound, is she? Let's double check everything first. Mimi, did you get the key? Yep, Saku. I got it. I told you she had the key. Brilliant. 
How about you, Ribbon? Do you have the map? Yeah, boss. I've got the map. Is this supposed to be a... Is this supposed to be a... Uh, I don't know. Awesome! I hereby declare... Operation No Toys But Plenty Of Books has begun. So I think we should come up with a better name for our operation. I think so too. How about we call it Operation Super Mimi? Oh no. Super Mimi. Why is that a pun? That is another- That's not a, a Super Paper Mario pun, is it? Oh no. Mimi is not your operation, it's all of ours, of course. And so I might start, I should just- Operation Saku and her friends. No way- Oh god. No way! Why should that- Why should it only be your name in, in our operation? Um, maybe because it was my idea in the first place? Well, I'm the one who stole my dad's key. If I get caught, I won't get I won't get dessert for at least three days. Oh, three days. Which means I'm the one taking the biggest risk here. That's all I can say right now, due to this sm smug. Stop arguing, you two. I just want to read the books that are hidden in the library. It's so boring without any toys. So, wanna call our operation? Operation Books for Ribbon. No! Boo hoo hoo! You guys are so mean to me. I'm gonna cry. Ribbon. Come on now, don't throw a fit. <laughs> hey, how about we go back to the our HQ to choose the name? Good idea, Mimi. Alright, everyone return to the HQ. Hey! Here for me, you guys. Does anyone actually know what the hell just happened? I have no idea what just happened. Oh, it's in this room. Okay. I am at the point where I cannot be bothered to talk to anyone anymore. <laughs> um. Um. Where's the mansion? No, I'm being quite serious. Where's the mansion? Gone. Why is there like half of these are women? This place looks so different, it's confusing. But there's the library. Oh, what'd I do? Look, Tyra, the Imperial Library. I'm not sure what it's like now, but in my day it was known for its many documents. I bet if we go there, we'll find out plenty about this time period. It was also like to have something on the location of the Maglifts. We'll have to come back another... we have to co find another one to get back home, seeing as the one that got us here was destroyed. Yeah, but Maglifts are quite rare, and even if we were to find one, how would we activate it? Not to mention it could end up taking us to an entirely new era. True, true, it could take us to, oh, I don't know, even, even, even before, like, I don't know, Legend of Zelda 1 style, or going back to the very first one. Jake, stop being so defeatist. Surely the word would be negative, not defeatist. What else can we do besides try? Can we actually get that off your neck, because I don't, actually, I don't think I don't think we can. No, nope, I've only one change for anything. My people, my son, all of them are dead. And yet, I bet you're in the money, Drake, you well, or Minos, whatever his real name is. Your son is probably the cause of all this. Ah, Tiger, I think Drake's going to need some time to adjust. Let's try finding information as fast as we can. Yeah, you might wanna dot it up. There's a lot of stuff around this place. Problem is, due to all this talking, I'm wasted bloody time. I don't even know where's what anymore. That's the pub. Where's the extremely rich family place? Wasn't that around here somewhere? That's the entrance. <laughs> Mr. Fogwell is a real nice trader. Maybe too nice, in fact. If it says hello, I mean, they want to buy something from him. Either way, he's a very powerful trader. And why does the hat look like a Professor Layton hat? Hmm. 
Why have we got a pinata plant? It's clearly from the first game, but... This is so Professor Layton pun right now, and I'm actually out of time. So thank you all so much for watching, here like a comment down below, and subscribe if you want to see more. Click the annotation for a previous video I've done, and like I always say, take 